Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Want to know the secret to a worry-free retirement? It's called mailbox money. And today we will learn about the three types of mailbox money and which one is available to everyone right now. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, the Worry-Free Retirement, with your host, nationally recognized retirement specialist and six-time author and fiduciary, Tony Walker. Of all the fears savers face in retirement, the biggest fear of them all is not getting tossed into a nursing home. It's not having to one day downsize from their present home and move into a smaller one. And believe it or not, for many savers, it's not the fear of death. No, as I consult and counsel with hundreds of savers each year, the biggest fear of the hearts and minds and pocketbooks of savers is this, one day running out of money in retirement. Problem is, who can savers trust to make sure this does not happen? And how does one know that the person or institution handling their life savings is truly working in their best interest? But never fear, because today I'm going to work in your best interest as I reveal the three forms of guaranteed lifetime income, something I call mailbox money, and how this mailbox money will provide you the peace of mind to a worry-free retirement. So let's get started. Welcome, folks, to the Worry-Free Retirement. And yes, I am that little man in the sweater vest, mailbox money specialist and full-time fiduciary, Tony Walker. And today, we start our discussion of the three forms of mailbox money. But before we do that, let me introduce to you two young lads who love going out to the mailbox each week to grab a paycheck from yours truly, America's favorite financial sidekick, Mr. Aaron Orender and Louisville, Kentucky's most laid-back graphics artist, Mr. Derek Hudson. Okay, assuming you've watched on TV or listened to the radio program called The Worry-Free Retirement, you no doubt have heard me speak about my favorite strategy to help savers keep from running out of money, something we call... Mailbox money! But sadly, with pensions going the way of the dinosaur and the long-term future of Social Security in question, is it any wonder that many red-blooded Americans do worry if the money they've saved for retirement will last as long as they do? So let us get right into it by first defining what this trademark concept I have created of mailbox money, what it is, and how it is defined. So mailbox money is any source of income that provides to a recipient a guaranteed income which the recipient, or in some cases recipients, can never outlive. And the key word in this definition of mailbox money is the word guaranteed. So what does Webster's have to say about this term guarantee? Well, according to Webster's, guaranteed is an assurance of the quality of or of the length of use to be expected from a product offered for sale, often with a promise of reimbursement. I think when I look at this definition and think about all the money people save for their retirement and then trying to figure out how who, you can fulfill this promise of basically being able to at least get all of your money back or to be reimbursed on a guaranteed basis, I think this is crucial. So what are the three ways mailbox money that will guarantee the recipient an income for the last, rest of their life? How's this gonna work? Well, let us start with mailbox money number one, the same source of mailbox money my granddad enjoyed for the rest of his life from his former employer, Bell South. That's right, it's called a pension. And while most employers did away with pensions, mainly due to the high cost of maintaining them, it is interesting to note that many workers today are demanding that employers bring them back, which as this article talks about, employees would love for employers to offer them, but it looks like employers are not going to do that. So what happened to pensions? Well, basically, due to the expense of offering these pensions, employers switched to offering their employees the 401k plan, which basically took away from the employee mailbox money and instead introduced to them the world of risk and uncertainty offered through products by Wall Street. 
And while the 401k is an excellent savings tool, the problem is there is no exit strategy from it. Yeah, the 401k, unlike granddad, who could at retirement just kick back and enjoy his beloved mailbox money, savers to do it today who are invested in 401k plans are left to worry about running out of money. Oh, speaking of pensions, for those of you who are still lucky enough to have a pension, that pension usually provides two options. The recipient can take the pension in the form of mailbox money, that is a monthly check for the rest of their life, or they can elect to receive a pension as a one-time payment, which is called a lump sum. Now, in the past, when interest rates were very low, most savers elected to take their pensions as a lump sum. But now, interestingly enough, that interest rates have gone higher, lump sum payments are much less. For instance, just a few weeks ago, I met a saver who was contemplating retiring from work and taking his lump sum pension, which currently this year would be about $800,000. However, if he continues to work and retires next year, due to higher interest rates that we are now faced with, that same pension will only be worth next year about $700,000. That's a $100,000 penalty, basically, to keep working. This holds true also from those who might be lucky enough to win the lottery. Let's say you win $2.5 million. To get the full $2.5 million, you must take that or annuitize it over 20-year installments. If you say, well, I don't want it over installments, I want it lump sum, then the lump sum payment isn't going to be $2.5 million. Due to higher interest rates, it may only be $1.5 million. So in summary, if you have a pension, congratulations. If you don't, well, stay tuned as we discuss the other two forms of mailbox money and how there is still hope for savers looking for more of it. I'm Tony Walker. You're watching The Worry-Free Retirement. We will be right back. Did you realize that if you have more than $250,000 in retirement assets, the government could tax as much as 40% of it when you go to take it out? And with current tax rates set to expire in 2025, the taxes you will owe on your 401k could climb even higher. Don't wait until 2025 to see how much Uncle Sam will take of your money. Get a game plan by logging on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Our Tony in the Trenches comes to us from Art over in Seymour, Indiana, who asks the following. Tony, I recently lost my wife and now must decide who to leave my money to. Problem is, I do not want my kids and grandkids to get it all at once when I die. Is there a simple option you can offer where I can leave money at death to heirs so they will not get it all at once and possibly blow it? Well, Art, there is, and to help explain how we can help you set this up, I'm gonna turn that over right now to our own Mandy Houchins for something called a restricted beneficiary benefit. What you're referring to, Tony, is something that we call a restricted beneficiary payout form. This is an option our clients have for setting up restrictions on how their beneficiaries get paid out after a death. They can restrict it to pay out over a five to 20 year period. In fact, we recently had a client who lost his spouse and was nervous about leaving a lump sum to a younger child. So we are looking into helping him set this restricted beneficiary form up for him. All right. In case you're just now joining us, the purpose of today's show is to reveal the three types of mailbox money and which one is all that savers can take advantage of. Now, we've already covered pensions. So let's review the second type, Social Security. And while I am confident that Social Security will be around in some form or fashion, it is concerning as to whether Social Security meets our definition of guaranteed and whether you and I as the recipients of Social Security or our heirs will actually get reimbursed for all the money we personally have paid into the system. But before we share with you how one might not get all their money back from Social Security, I would like to give a shout out to all of those who are employed by the Social Security Administration and the recent website they created, which is a dandy. So for more on how consumers can take advantage of this new updated website from Social Security, let us turn to our own in-house Social Security expert, Lisa Allerkamp. 
You can easily access your personal social security information by logging on to ssa.gov backslash my account and select the create a new account option. Once there, you'll need to verify your credentials through login.gov or id.me. If you already have these credentials established, you can skip this step and proceed forward. If you do need to create your credentials, you'll be asked some personal information and then you'll be sent an activation code to access your account. From there, you're all set. You can access your updated personal social security information and you may also select to receive text or email messages from Social Security Administration. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, lisa at tonywalkerfinancial.com. All right, while Social Security is our second type of mailbox money, the problem with Social Security is there is no guarantee that you will get all the money reimbursed back to you in terms of what you paid into the system. And while the cost of living adjustment for 2024 for those receiving benefits will go up by 3.2%, meaning in this example, let's say that the cost of living adjustment next year is gonna be 3.2%, and in 2023, your monthly benefit that you're now drawing from Social Security is $2,500. Now next year, with the COLA of 3.2%, what's gonna happen is your monthly benefit is gonna go up to $2,500. $180, which is obviously an $80 increase each month. Oh, Derek, by the way, what could you do with another $80 every month? Uh, well, I guess I could afford like 64 chicken minis from Chick-fil-A and three grande cold brews from Starbucks. But there is a problem with all of this, and that is not knowing how long one might live to collect Social Security benefits. I mean, let's say the worst case scenario, you're single, you turn 62, that's the minimum age you can start drawing Social Security. So if you added up all the money you and your employer paid into the system that was deducted from your paycheck each year, well gosh, over your lifetime, that might be $200,000 which would be gone, let's say, if you started Social Security and died the next day. So moral to the story, while Social Security is a form of mailbox money, it is not something that is dependable to heirs, which leads to our third type of mailbox money, my favorite, but you gotta wait till the next segment to find out. I'm Tony Walker. When I come back, we're gonna get into the wonderful world of mailbox money type number three. I'll be right back. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. Tired of the roller coaster ride of the stock market? Let Tony Walker show you how to smooth out the ride with your money. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and let's get started. Our Live Well, Die Broke moment features our fourth and final client appreciation event of 2023, where 500 clients and staff enjoyed a wonderful evening of food, music, fellowship, and an inspirational message from our featured speaker, the former pastor of Southeast Christian Church, Mr. Bob Russell. As we conclude our four events offered to the more than 3,000 clients of Tony Walker Financial, I want to again thank our clients for bringing us to the dance and allowing us the privilege of handling their life savings. And assuming you are a saver and retired or nearing retirement, I would be honored to speak with you as well about our services and how we might be of help. Okay, let's get back to our three types of mailbox money before we discuss my favorite form. Sleep insurance. Let's review my definition of mailbox money. In other words, no matter how well stocks and bonds have done, you've got to follow this definition. 
No matter what banks are paying on CDs right now, you got to follow this definition. No matter if you load up on gold, none of these products can guarantee a steady stream of income that will last for the rest of your life, which leads to our third and final type of mailbox money. Drum roll, please. That's right, private annuities. It's a form of savings that not only can provide a guaranteed income for life, but also guarantees to reimburse your investment to you, or if you don't use it all, to your kids and grandkids. You see, unlike pensions and Social Security, whose monthly mailbox money dies when you do, annuities do not, as they will last at least to the minimum you've paid into the contract. That is, the original recipient of the original investment. Or, if there happens to be anything left after drawing out your mailbox money, the insurance company issuing the annuity will pay the balance to your heirs. In other words, you or someone is going to be fully reimbursed for your original principal. Funny, for years, Wall Street and their advisors have bashed annuities, but as this recent article talks about, now that savers are demanding mailbox money, many of those same financial advisors and financial institutions now are beginning to sell them, mainly because they have figured out how to charge recurring fees on them. Imagine that. So how can insurance companies who issue these annuities guarantee in writing that you and I will not run out of money after beginning this mailbox money? Well, they have not only the science on their side, and since they can determine with incredible accuracy the number of people who are going to die each year, but just as importantly, they have up to certain limits protection through the states when you purchase an annuity. These backings called the guarantee fund are this. It's a pledge to pay another's debt or to perform another's duty in case of the other's default or inadequate performance. Usually, these amounts are up to $250,000 of protection per person should an insurance company go out of business. So you have that guarantee as well. Like I said, I'm sure the newbies out there selling annuities like to talk about these guarantees now, seeing as though how volatile and how complicated the world has become. Now folks, when you roll over your 401k to us, we have a 10% guaranteed return. How's that sound? That sounds too good to be true. So to illustrate this, I'm going to go over to the whiteboard and what I thought I would do, this might be kind of interesting because as we record this show in October of 2023, CD rates are very, very high. But also we've got to understand that we would like to consider annuities as well. So let's say somebody comes to me and says, well, Tony, can I get mailbox money out of a CD? Well, we have to make sure we understand the definition and the parameters we're working on. So yes, a CD principal is guaranteed. And yes, historically speaking, while they're paying over 5% now, most of CDs, they've paid as low as 0.5 or 1%, but we have to assume they'll usually pay some sort of interest. But what happens, let's say if we have a, we'll just take one person, a 65 year old, and let's say they have $300,000, and they want mailbox money. In other words, the parameter of mailbox money, again, the definition is they want a guaranteed set income for the rest of your, their lives. So we got 300,000 with the CD, 300,000 with the annuity. So that means at 5% interest, let's say they buy a one year CD, that person is gonna get $15,000 a year. And let's say they say, oh, that sounds good. That's what I want, no matter what, I want that bank to send me $15,000 a year. Well, we're not gonna do all the math now, but let's be honest with ourselves. If these interest rates go back down, and they probably will at some point, I don't know how our nation is gonna keep these interest rates this high and service the amount of debt. So they're in a dilemma right now. But let's just say interest rates go back down to three, two, or 1%. Well, what's gonna happen is, if you're taking $15,000 out of a $300,000 account and the interest rate supporting the CD, listen carefully, go down at some point, depends on what the CDs are, but let's say at age 85, if you're still alive, you could run out of money. In other words, the only way they can guarantee $15,000 a year is if they can guarantee for the rest of your life 5% interest on the CD. They're not gonna do that. So let's go to the annuity. How does the annuity work? Well, these are called payout rates, all right? So let's say, and we have so many different insurance companies we work with and different types of annuities. Again, folks, this is very conceptual. I'm just trying to show you how mailbox money works when you turn the money over to an insurance company issuing an annuity. Big difference. 
So a payout rate says, in this case, maybe it's for a husband and wife. What they say is based on your age, we will guarantee, okay, guarantee $15,000 a year for life. Right? And let's say the insurance company is kind of like the banks over there. They're similar. They're trying to invest money in bonds and mortgages and interest rates are all over the place over the next, what is that, 20 years. And eventually the account that's set up at the insurance company to support those payments, like the bank, let's say it runs out of money. Or you're saying, well, aren't I out of money? Wouldn't I run out of money at 85 under these same parameters? No. Why? There's a big difference because there is a contract. I'm going to circle that. This annuity is a contract. It is a contract, a unilateral contract between you and the insurance company. And the insurance company, listen, bears all the risk. Well, what is their risk? Their risk is they're going to have to pay you money longer than their actuaries thought you would live. So in this case, if this person lives to age 100, it doesn't matter. Contractually, they are obligated to make that $15,000 payment in this example to you and or your spouse, depending on who lives that long. So I don't know about you. I mean, we can sit around and guess all day long how long you're going to live, or you might go to a money manager and they run a Monte Carlo and it shows you having enough money till 90 and then you run out of money. To me, that makes no sense, folks. Why wouldn't you at least want to have some of your money in a tool like this that can guarantee an income you could never outlive? And then put this up full screen, Aaron. And the beauty of working with Tony Walker Financial, folks, we're more than just annuities. We can offer investments through Charles Schwab. We have bank products that we can get through Charles Schwab. We have different types of annuities. And then plus, if you work with Tony Walker Financial, assuming you're retired or retiring soon, you're going to get this proprietary written game plan, a game plan that's going to allow us at Tony Walker Financial to monitor your situation long into retirement. And that's another thing, folks, many of you forget. I mean, you're getting into retirement, you just toss your money in these different accounts with different advisors, many of whom are not even fiduciaries, and you don't realize that changes are going to come up. Uh, as a firm that has over 3,000 clients and most of whom are retired, I'm going to tell you, there will be changes. And if you don't have a game plan and an experienced retirement planning firm to monitor those changes, you're going to worry. So why don't you do this right now? Instead of taking a chance and not understanding how this even works, at least let us explain how mailbox money within a written game plan can help you worry less about money. Log on right now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Give that little click on the red button. Let's set up that free fiduciary phone call. If you'd like, you can also just call the number on your screen. We'll be happy to arrange that for you. Well, does the Bible have anything to say about mailbox money? It really doesn't. But it does have something to say about you understanding your options and where you toss your money around. Good stuff coming your way. Let me get another cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Are you retired or retiring soon? Do you have a 401k, IRA, 403b, thrift savings account, or lump sum pension that you'd like to move to safer territory? Did you know that all the money you see on your 401k statement isn't really yours? Depending on your overall taxable income, the government has essentially a lien on your 401k that can tax as much as 40% of your money when you go to take it out. Tony Walker calls this the 401k tax tumor. For almost 40 years, retirement specialist Tony Walker has helped thousands of savers worry less about money by creating game plans to deal with your tax tumor. Get control of your retirement by controlling the taxes owed on it. Schedule a free meeting to see if you can reduce your tax tumor and provide a guaranteed income you can never outlive. To get started, simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Wondering how much money you'll need to retire? Probably a lot less than you think. I'm retirement specialist Tony Walker, and for the past 36 years, I've helped thousands of savers determine when to retire and how much money they'll need in retirement, and I can help you too. To meet in person at no cost or obligation, let me invite you to log on right now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com or call the toll-free number on your screen. We look forward to talking with you soon. Imagine this, you and your spouse just reached full retirement age and decide to call it quits and retire. You have no debt, 
you enjoy a nice nest egg tucked away in savings over at the local bank, and the two of you recently began drawing Social Security. The only thing left on the retirement planning table is the biggest financial decision you'll ever make, and that is what to do and who to trust with those tax-infested 401k plans you now possess. I know, it's a lot to think about, and with more opinions on the subject than ever before, it's a daunting task indeed. So, let's turn to Matthew 13, 20, 22, and 23, where Jesus shares an interesting parable about sowing seeds and the result of where those seeds might land and which type of soil might produce the most fruit. And certainly, while this parable does not actually mention the term mailbox money, it does focus on a key ingredient with any financial decision and where you are about to cast your money and what type of soil it will land. It's called the word understands, which basically means to be thoroughly familiar with. Now, as we think about these options on where to invest money that is supposed to last as long as you do, and assuming you are a saver and you don't want to run out of money, which of these options can you honestly say you understand? The one that cannot guarantee a lifetime income or the option that can? You see, the good soil of the annuity does something that all of us need to understand, and that is this. It is the only investment that comes with a guarantee of lifetime income. And when you boil it all down to this, well, it should be pretty easy to understand. Interesting, now that we have so many clients entering what I would call the second half of life, some of these older clients, they have to turn to annuities and then they finally begin to take what I call their mailbox money from those annuities that we've set up. They understand that they have something predictable, guaranteed, and certainly it's going to last as long as they do. Just as I remember riding up to the mailbox with granddad and him grabbing that monthly check for his pension and social security, my client, clients who own annuities can do just that as well. Well, as we conclude our show on the three types of mailbox money, I've got one more possible answer to our previous pop quiz, and it's this. Could your answer be to this question, you're still not sure? If so, we need to talk, and it's easy to do, and best of all, it's free for the asking. We call it the free 10-minute fiduciary phone call, and here's how easy it is for you and I to have a conversation regarding your specific situation. We can make this happen in one of two ways. First, you can simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, and you're going to click on that little red box, and that information is confidentially sent to our office, and we will reach out to you to set up this free phone call or you can simply call the number on your screen. Now, after we have the phone call, if it warrants, if we think we can be of service, we are going to meet with you at no cost, no obligation, at either a Bowling Green, Louisville, or Lexington, Kentucky office. So do it now, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, or give us a call with, at the number on your screen. Well, we hope you've enjoyed today's program. We look forward to seeing you next week on the Worry-Free Retirement, but you remember, between now and next week, if all else fails, you be worry-free and make it a good one.